John Kakonge, a former Secretary General of Uganda People's Congress, a former Secretary General of Uganda People's Congress, was the most powerful man in the land. Kakonge later got in a tango with the Bingira for control of Uganda People's Congress. UPC. As a Secretary General, a special elected members Ibengira convinced Milton Obote that John Kakonga is a leftist. You see, when great minds get together, they become dangerous. They become like children. In fact, everybody at that moment who was in the British government was considered a leftist. So I don't understand how Kakonga could be more leftist than Ibingira himself. You see, when big fish get together, their eyes are focused on the main disc. And that disc happened to be Uganda People's Congress. And if you look carefully, if you observe carefully, right from that time, Obote was surrounded by an intelligent young man who knew exactly what they wanted and where they want to go. So the only place to be hanging around is around that big tree. And when you hang around that big tree, it means you have to plan, you have to drive, you have to make sure there's food, and you make sure that you feed the tree properly before you cut it down. And that is exactly what happened during this saga with Uganda People's Congress fighting for a position of Secretary General of the UPC. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss your daily source of info on Uganda. And let me be clear. Let's get started. You see, Kakonge, the struggle between Kakonga and the rest is very interesting indeed. Because all these people, most of them, are professionals and they all pass through India. Here you could see that it was an unsuccessful attempt. take over leadership in a body's party. Believe me, 
it does not make sense. If, you, if they were there for power, to take over power, join politics, someone who understands and who had the brain can always put one in one together and then come out with the intention of these honorable guys. You have forgotten. Who it was there? It's a gold mine for them. John Kakonga was UPC Secretary General. During the time of Dawood Ching. When he brought a motion implicating ministers as accomplished in the looting of gold. All these people were there at that moment of time when these things were happening. They were all around. A few months later, after the warning of John Kakonge, he warned his fellow members of parliament he warned them about the troubles ahead. He saw through a naked eye. that those who are involved in the motion that the Udu Cheng brought forward will pay with their life. As a Secretary General of Uganda People's Congress, at that moment, I believe He did have abundant information. That is why he warned his fellow opposition members of parliament to be careful. And these are the men who hold the key to the truth. These are the men who could save us from torture, from murder, from kidnap, from atrocities that happened in Uganda during those days. But their mom, they're keeping quiet. They want to go with the truth into their grave. And they know exactly that it is only the truth that is going to get us Uganda out of what we are today. We have made mistakes. And we are making more mistakes on mistakes. But if we could wake up one day and say, ladies and gentlemen, let's leave something better for our kids. The politics we, play, we played those days during Obote's government, when we first got independent, 
because we were so ambitious. We want her to have a piece of the cake. That is fine, brothers and sisters. Everybody has the right to have that piece of the cake. As I mentioned before, why were all these men fighting for the control of the poetry? Maybe it is time for these people to come out and tell us the truth. I am interested in the warning of Kakonga that these people who are involved in the Udu Cheng saga will pay with their life. As a Secretary General, we the people of Uganda voted him for that position, voted him for that post. The best he can do for us, come out and tell us why he said people will pay with their life. At the 1964 Uganda People's Congress Delegates Conference in Gulu in 1965, John Kakonga was elected as a member of parliament. This time it was with the backing of Dr. Apple Milton Obote. During the debate, Kakonga called on his colleague to have clarity of mind. To have clarity of mind, what they wanted and how they wanted to handle the gold smuggling allegation. He then accused Salman Opolot of being a troublemaker. Not Idi Amin. He accused Brigadier Opolot of trying to topple the government of Uganda. He added that a group of ministers were supporting Brigadier Saban Opolot. Let's call a spade a spade. When John Kakonga returned to Uganda from India in 1959, he met the member of parliament And since then, at that moment, I think Obote was the vice president of UNC. 
he told a botan about his group in India and his connection to Nero with the help of John Kakonge, the Uganda People Congress, the Uganda People's Congress. Wish of voting. The president, Kakonga, as the secretary general. In 1961, Wadada Musani became publicity secretary. The election organized in 1961. Return DP majority, but it was boycotted by the Uganda in new election. When the new election came, helped organize, and this time. DP participated in Buganda, under the Kabaka Eka, the KY, UPC Alliance, and they won. And when people like Kirunda return in time to independence, he was appointed head of the UPC Research and Information Bureau. I know that if you want to understand the old days of politics, you have to go back to that moment right from birth. They usually travel in zigzag manner zigzag corners before eating the target. See, during this time, all those faces you are seeing today in Uganda politics, all those faces of people who built Uganda is coming back. And if you look properly, you'll find that these people, that close connection to one another, whether it's now a UPC, whether it's now a DP, or whether it's now a Mormon, the, the church. They follow the same way, footstep. And they are the real chameleon of Uganda. Because when they're next to you, you see that color changing exactly to that of yours. But the moment you go lower and they don't know somebody higher, theirs goes higher and then they change the color again. Or it's going to be the color of that flag, it's going to be the color of my t-shirt, or it's going to be the color of this chair behind me. So these are the people who set up the playground and what I don't like from it is that the majority of them who are dying, they are dying with all the secrets that should have been left behind to make sure 
that our children and our grandchildren use this opportunity to create the history of this country so that when we go, we know exactly what happened, where we went wrong, what we left behind. You know, human being are human being. Our hands could cause us a lot of problems. Our hands could be a disaster to ourselves. But then if we just tie it behind us and we don't want to tell the truth, then it will take us years before we start going back again, looking for the truth. And then I will tell you that what we are going to dig out in that historical event or research will be bigger than what you think. It may unhurt things that could have been avoided if you were honest to yourself and the people you want to say, you want to represent. I may be a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. There are a lot of our youth who are growing up who want to know the truth. There's a lot of our youth who are divided according to religion, tribe, regions. They are fed up. They want to know what their tribe is. It is their right. They have the right to know what their culture is. It is their right. Whether you are now in Uganda, whether you are now in Nigeria, whether you are now in Luguara, whether you are now in Munyarwanda, you have the same right like any other person to know who you are. Let's accomplish and accept the truth. We don't have to destroy the truth because you cannot destroy the truth. The truth will always surface back to where it all started. And if it does, then the history for ourselves and for our children will be complete. Thank you for listening. And remember, I will be back.